The collection with Rubelli came about pretty much during the pandemic, really. Nicolo Rubelli got in touch with me, and then when it was safe to travel again, I went to Venice and we began talking about working together on a collection. The Rubelli archives are housed in Capizzani, a palazzo in Venice. They have documents there going back to the 15th century, and I think they have something crazy like over 7,000 pieces of fabric. Obviously for me, that's like being, you know, a kid in a candy store. I was rifling through bits of fabrics and, and picking out my favorite things. It's just an incredibly magical experience. I'm always attracted to old things. I'm always attracted to old furniture. Fabrics are no different. I mean, going and touching and feeling things that have been around for hundreds of years and imagining their kind of previous life is, is just really exciting and obviously they're full of character. And so for me, it was a really brilliant um, starting point to be, to be able to go and look at these antique documents and then to sort of take inspiration for my own collection. I think when we looked at the antique fabrics um, at the archive, we were focusing on looking at this kind of this kind of thing, big florals, because we knew that you know what I would be bringing to the table, my sort of style of drawing, which is very sort of graphic um, and bold. I can't produce sort of old amazing chintzes. It's not it's not in my realms of ability really. So what we thought was, why don't we look at the archive, try and find a kind of amazing floral fabric that we can breathe new life into. So it was kind of thinking about what I can do and what I can't do. My approach to interior design is very eclectic. I love mixing old things with new things. I love mixing up textures. I love coming up with unexpected color combinations. As we were developing it, you know, we were going off in different directions a lot of the time. But what I really love about them as well is apart from the archive fabric, they're all based on my drawings. So even the stripes, you know, I, I drew it out by hand, um, you know, this one here actually was based on a kind of wallpaper fragment in a museum and then I redrew it and then we made it into a stripe. So they're all, they all have this kind of handcrafted feel to them which I really like. We called the collection Return to Arcadia. The kind of main inspiration was my garden in the country as well as other gardens around me in the countryside. Rausham, which is one of my favourite gardens to visit, that provided the inspiration for, for this fabric, which is called Rausham. It's kind of one of the kind of anchors of the collection, I suppose, and also kind of draws upon my love of Greek mythology, Greek and Roman, sort of this magical um, Arcadian paradise with statues and follies. and So there is this kind of theme of the English garden mixed with classical antiquity coming through. I mean, I love creating stories and, and, and I love the fact that there is this overarching story to the collection, but I also get inspiration from all over the place. I think it's about how you kind of play with things and, and, and the kind of juxtaposition of different types of designs and, and different colours as well. I mean, this is quite an unexpected. When I said to Rebelli, you know, I wanted to do a lavender background, I think at first they were sort of unsure, but I think it gives it a completely new lease of life. Really, I, I just worked with my favourite colours. So we've got, you know, olive green and pistachio blue, lavender, sky blue, coral, pale yellow. Very early on, I thought I'd love to do stars on a fabric, but very simple, very graphic, just stars. Estrellas is a sort of chenille, and then it has these kind of stars that have an actual kind of metallic thread. So they do kind of, um, you know, when you have candles lit, they do actually have this little glow about them, which is amazing. I've sort of had a lot of people asking, you know, what's your favorite one? Which one would you like to use the most? I love them all for different reasons. I mean, I would love to use Rausham because it's the one with the most detail. It's my drawings, obviously, and it's the most kind of enveloping one. So I would love to use it like all over the place. I got married in May this year, and it kind of just came to me when I was thinking about what I was going to wear for my wedding. Wait, I should I should um, wear one of my new fabrics. So I went for Rausham and made an entire suit in this fabric, and it was great. I loved it. The overarching idea with the collection and kind of my work in general is optimism and this idea of bringing about joy. And um, and I think you know there's a lot of beige out there, and um, and I'm always kind of pushing this kind of colour wagon forward. I actually get a lot of joy from, from colour. That's the magic of colour, is that it can, it can, it can make you feel things and, and lift you up. I hope that's really what this collection will do. It'll kind of bring about joy.